Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We're just 15 minutes south of uh, Edmonton here and I'm about to shoot an extended tour video on a brand new arrival to our dealership. It's a brand new floor, floor plan by Grand Design in the uh, Reflection 150 series. This is called the 260 RD. Uh, this was actually the very first time I was able to look at the floor plan, didn't get the opportunity to see it at the open house event uh, this last fall, but I got to tell you friends that uh, what Grand Design, my buddy Micah down at the factory there uh, and his team have accomplished with this layout is absolutely fantastic uh, for the, just the floor plan spaciousness and, and the length and the weight and all of those things and this is a true half ton towable fifth wheel folks. So uh, we're going to jump into all those details, just a couple of high level things. Again, this is the extended tour video. So we're going to get into a lot of detail, going to talk a lot. And uh, for those folks that want to just go super deep on the product, if you're looking for more of a high level tour, uh, check out our quick tour as well. So we're going to shoot that also and uh, just more high level stuff for you. But uh, Grand Design RV folks, uh, we're an exclusive Grand Design dealer here in Alberta uh, and at our dealership here in Leduc. Um, and we are just so excited to be able to carry this product and a lot of the things that Grand Design does, the values that their company uh, is built on, the, the principles that they founded it with, uh, hold true in a lot of cases to who we are and the values that we have as a dealership. But uh, on Grand Design itself, folks, um, one of the really neat things that I just absolutely love, one is their quality, the fit and finish that they put in, and that's attributed to a lot of things. One, uh, specifically, is that every single brand that Grand Design does, they build on their own assembly line. So literally, every single reflection is built on its own assembly line. It's not shared uh, where some manufacturers will build, you know, two, three, four, some, you know, four brands on one assembly line, and that can really have some adverse effects on the, the quality control that you know, when they change from brand to brand, floor plans, the colors, uh, the feature content, all of those things, it can just really have a, a, a tough effect on the product and the quality. And we've carried those types of brands that are built on, you know, uh, assembly lines with multiple brands and, you know, have had to suffer a little bit with those types of things. But uh, Grand Design, right from their inception, building uh, each, each brand having its own assembly line, which is absolutely huge. So the people that are on those lines, that's all they know is building the reflections and it just really helps with the quality control of the product. Um, the other thing, Grand Design, they PDI every single trailer before it leaves its facility. It goes through a 288 point inspection. Um, separate from the assembly line folks so before it leaves their factory it's gone through that inspection so here at our dealership here in Leduc we put it through another inspection and then before our customers pick up it goes through a pre-check a pre-check checklist um, that our salespeople do prior to our customers arrive so uh, coming to pick up the RVs because we realize that the highlight of uh, the, your experience you know is picking up the RV at our dealership here and we just want to make that so special so every single Grand Design trailer that we deliver to a customer literally goes through two and a half point uh, two and a half inspections uh, which is really really good so that you know when you go camping you have the peace of mind knowing that your RV has been checked out and it's gone through and we we show you that those things we show you how the trailer works which is really really good and those are some of those those values that I, I talked about earlier uh, that we really share with Grand Design you know the PDIs going the extra step the customer service uh, really coming alongside you and that's what we're all about here at our dealership here in Leduc so um, the other thing, a really neat thing for this uh, this last fall, Grand Design, again, big on customer service. They just created a relationship with NTP Stag. NTP Stag is a national parts distribution company. They've got parts distribution facilities throughout Canada and the US. Um, and what this has done for us is being able to order up RV parts on warranty claims, all of those things, and getting them so much faster. We're not having to wait for the manufacturer to order them from their vendor, ship them to the manufacturer, and then have them shipped up across the border up here into Canada. There's literally a, a list of items for every single brand at NTP Stag at all their distribution facilities. And so for us, nothing has changed when it comes to the ordering process. We literally just place the order on a warranty claim if necessary. Uh, if it's one of those items that's at the distribution facility, Grand Design facilitates the order and it ships out through NTP Stag and our, our ability to be able to get parts much, much quicker and get you down the road camping is just absolutely fantastic and we're so excited about that. So just a, a few things about Grand Design. I know I'm talking a lot, but again, this is the extended tour video and uh, so we're going to jump into it. So. 150 series, they came out with this product a couple years ago and they've expanded their floor plan uh, arrangement. And 
one of the things that they've done at the factory is they're really cognizant of one, what the half-ton trucks can pull today. The beautiful thing about half-ton trucks is that uh, the ones that are built today anyways, they have much higher payload capacities, their tow capacities are a lot better uh, than what they used to be in the past. So, you know, a lot of times people have this feeling that half-tons can't pull a fifth wheel, but that's not the case. And what Grand Design has done through the engineering of their product, the items they've put into their RVs to really help get the weight down without sacrificing the structure of the trailer uh, is really, really nice. And one of the things I'll, I'll say before we jump into this is that the 150 series folks, they don't lighten it up. They don't make the walls thinner. They don't make the roof thinner. They don't make the chassis thinner. They don't, the, the, the structure that Grand Design puts into a 150 series is the same that you get in a regular reflection. What they have done to really get the weight down is by taking the feature content down. So you don't get auto leveling jacks, you don't get solid surface countertops, you don't get raised panel cabinet doors, uh, which all those things are great to have if you want them and you have the truck to be able to pull it. Uh, but what they've done in the 150 series is by taking some of those items out has allowed them to be able to come up with the marketplace with a half ton towable fifth wheel. The other thing, and we'll just shoot over to the driver's side of this trailer here, folks, is they don't do ward slides or ward wardrobe slides, bedroom slides in the 150 series. And they've done a great job uh, with their bedroom in the uh, Reflection 150 series. The way the bed configuration is, is very much the same as the regular Reflections. But the difference is that with the bathroom and the bedroom, with the storage, you're still getting a great big wardrobe and three massive drawers for your storage, which is absolutely fantastic. But what they've done is they've been able to get the hitch weight down, which payload capacity is what you would be looking at on your truck as how it relates to the hitch weight on a trailer. So, you know, if you have a payload capacity on your half-ton truck that's 1,800 pounds or above, you know, depending on what your comfort level is and, your, and, and what you feel you can do, um, this type of trailer would be perfect for that type of truck. So the hitch weight on this particular trailer is 1,325 pounds. Every single 150 series fifth wheel folks, they keep the hitch weight under 1,400 pounds and they feel that's a sweet spot to be able to come to the marketplace with a true half ton towable fifth wheel, but still giving you amazing livability without sacrificing the quality. Okay, the other thing that they've done with the 150 series folks is they've put on the turning point hitch. This comes standard uh, with every 150 series fifth wheel. And when you look at a lot of half tons out there, if you're doing your shopping, just really be aware of what the payload capacity is. If you haven't bought a truck yet, uh, you know, the import trucks haven't typically had great payload capacities. More of the domestic trucks have been better. I know Dodge has really boosted their payload capacity. Uh, Ford has got a really good part car, uh, payload capacity as well as GM and, and the length of boxes changes more so in the half tons than the other trucks as well. So you can see a five and a half foot box. You can see a six foot box, six and a half. Uh, and then long boxes, but typically with the quad cab, the four door half tons, you get typically what you see is that, um, that, that five and a half foot box. And one of, the, one of the issues with that shorter box is that it's been difficult to get any type of turning radius. So what happens is when you turn your truck, if you got it hooked up to a fifth wheel, uh, what can happen is this corner, when you jackknife your trailer, can hit the back of your cab, dent your cab, or take out your back window. And so that was always one of the challenges with fifth wheels on the shorter bed trucks. Uh, Grand Design is addressing that with the turning point hitch. So rather than having to spend, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a power glide hitch that literally as you're driving, when you turn the truck, as you turn the fifth wheel hitch cradles back, creating turning radius, those fifth wheel hitches are extremely expensive. So Grand Design with the turning point hitch, what this does is it changes the turning point or the, the, the pivot point. So typical pivot point is right at this kingpin right here. Okay, and with the turning point hitch, what it gives you the ability to do, there's a little wedge right here. You see that those two bolts there holding up that wedge? That wedge literally gets bolted in behind the kingpin. You can see those two holes right there. What that does is that fixes the, the pivot point from here and what you do is you pull out a couple of bolts further back right there and what that does is it shifts the turning point or the the, the pivot point from the front of the kingpin 22 inches back creating that 90 plus degree turning radius for a short bed truck and the beautiful thing is is that 
those power glide hitches, they're very, very heavy as well, as well as expensive. Uh, you can just get a standard uh, slider hitch if you so choose, or just a regular uh, uh, fixed mount hitch. Uh, dual pivot we always recommend, but with that turning point, it will really help create that turning radius uh, in a half ton truck without having to take out your back window, which is really, really nice. So a lot of things going on with the 150 series folks with the engineering, how they've configured the floor plans, the features that they've done to really get that weight down, but without sacrificing the quality and just creating that really good towing experience for you. So again, Grand Design true to form folks, <clears throat> they paint every single front cap on the fronts of their trailers. It's a fully automotive painted front cap. Um, We've seen over the years, a lot of cases, you get that cloudiness and discoloration coming down your front cap. Um, Grand Design has really done the right things to help prevent that from happening or reducing the chances of that happening. Uh, the other thing that they do is the graphics on their trailers is a 3M graphic. Uh, it has a higher UV coating on it. It's a, it's a very good quality graphic and it comes with a five-year warranty. Uh, and it just creates a really nice, sharp, edgy look on the, on the front of the trailer, down the sides of the trailer. So less chance of you know rolling up, cracking, discoloration, I mean, over time, sun will, you know, uh, change those things. But, um, you know, the, the graphic that Grand Design puts on is just a much better quality graphic as well. So um, also the cap is a structure cap. So if you see all these ridges, you got the air dam down below. That creates structural rigidity in the front cap. All these bends and swoops um, what really is important because we've seen trailers as you're towing them down the highway where literally that front cap from the wind force pushes the front cap in you don't want that creates wind drag can be have you know crack your front cap potentially also with having a structure cap what that does is it ties in sidewall to sidewall floor to roof really creating a rigid structure up front because you don't want to have deflection in the front of your cap uh, or in the front of your trailer because it can have adverse effects on slide outs and all of those things uh, but also you want that cap going on stair uh, square which is very important. Grand Design also uses a front steel cage and behind the front caps on their fifth wheels uh, and that just really helps create that rigid front end uh, where some manufacturers potentially may be pulling back on. So uh, again, uh, Grand Design doing all the right things from a structure. They're about foundation. They're about building the product square and just doing all the right things at the manufacturing level to help make sure the product lasts a long time for you. So uh, right up front here, folks, you got the underbed or uh, un under gooseneck storage here. So that goes right in between your propane tanks and your leveling legs um, or your landing legs. You know, you can run a couple of six volt batteries in here if you want. It comes from the manufacturer with one vented battery box. Uh, there's a motion sensor lighting in there as well. So you can run a series of, of uh, batteries up there, that sort of thing. So we always recommend six volt uh, batteries here at our dealership. Uh, they also give you the, the uh, pre-wire for the solar charge for your Fury and uh, suitcase style solar panel. So there's wires in there that you hook up to your batteries and you just put that suitcase style solar panel, you click that in right there and that will charge up your batteries nicely. I'm a big fan of hard mounting a solar panel to my roof. Every trailer I ever own, I put a solar panel on the roof and I just really feel it just really enhances your camping experience and will greatly reduce the chances of power failure and those types of things. So uh, we're going to jump in on the weight badge on this. So again, 1,320 pounds hitch weight on this trailer. I love the dry weight on this. You're 7,326 pounds. Okay. Your GVWR is 9,495 pounds, which gives you an unbelievable cargo carrying capacity of 2,109 pounds. So unbelievable cargo carrying capacity. The dry weight on this trailer is absolutely fantastic. And, um, you know, again, half ton towable, which we're really excited about. So we're just going to shoot up underneath here. Again, true to form for Grand Design on all the reflections, folks. They do a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. That heated underbelly is heated off your furnace, forced air heat. You do get an R30 in here, uh, in, your, in your basement, fully enclosed. All your gate valves are all up inside that heated area as well. So we'll just show, shoot over to that. Uh, you can see that where your uh, black pipe there is there where you hook up your sewer hose. They do add, they did add a light here uh, for at night if you got to dump your tanks at night, which is really, really nice. You can see it on right there. But your gate valves to drain the tanks are all up inside the heated area. You can see where they foam in around all the openings and whatnot. And then further back, just on the other side of the axles there, they give you that, that white T-handle gate valve to drain your fresh water tank. So your fresh water capacity on this trailer is 52 gallons fresh. And when you pull that T-handle, that, uh, that gray tank's gonna drain in a real hurry for you. So, 
all right? Uh, pass-through storage compartments. I love showing, showing off the pass-through storage compartments on the Grand Designs, folks. They really do a phenomenal job. Uh, one, fully unobstructed pass-through storage, so you don't see any black plumbing running down the middle of your compartments like you see with a lot of other manufacturers, really greatly reducing the chances of being able to put bigger items in. Grand Designs thinking, they've done that since their inception, totally unobstructed pass-through storage. Again, I encourage people, count the amount of aluminum tubes you see in the, uh, the, uh, on the upper deck of the uh, pass through storage compartment, the height of them, if it's screwed together, welded together, all of those things. And Grand Design's just really doing all the right stuff. It's fully bead welded together, double bead welded, taller, thicker aluminum tubing. They typically have more. Uh, and then you got your heat plenum there, and this is a heated compartment as well. So they're just really going the extra mile, strapping it up there really nice all of those things. The other thing is the deck inside. You'll find a lot of manufacturers, they use an ozite material uh, in their pass-through storage compartments, and it's just one piece. They run it from here all the way up and across and down, and they use that to hide all of the gaps and those types of things is what we've seen. Uh, Grand Design, it's a lot harder to do that with the vinyl decking, but the nice thing with the vinyl decking is that if you spill something in here, it gets a little dirty, you can wipe it up. It doesn't hold the moldy and mildewy smells that you do with the carpeted compartments. And then you get these ABS trays here as well that, you know, if you spill something here, uh, if you have some fluids, your you know your wet bay, if you want to call it that, if you spill something in here, it can you know you can clean it up a whole lot nicer. It's not going to soak into that carpeted compartment, which is nice. So, again, your gate valves are all up inside the heated area. Uh, and protected in behind the baggage compartment here. One, fresh water, again, capacity is 52 gallons. Your gray capacity, you got two gray tanks on this trailer, um, 71 gallons gray combined, and then 39 black. So fantastic tank capacities with this trailer. True to form again, Grand Design, Nautilus P1 utility panel, folks. This is first class all the way. Uh, it's all color coded, very easy to use, very simple. This bypasses your hot water heater as well now. You don't have to pull a false panel off the back of your hot water heater like we're used to. Getting on your hands and knees with a flashlight, reaching in behind cabinets and compartments and those types of things to bypass or unbypass your hot water heater. It's all done through the Nautilus P1 system, which is fantastic. You have your quick connect hot and uh, cold tap outside shower which comes with the blue coiled uh, hose there as well uh, which is really really nice and then you get the water pump switch I absolutely love that because we do a lot of dry camping or we're you know, in the, if you're in the provincial campground where you're filling up your tanks, uh, even at the campground, but before you leave, you can drain your tanks. And what's nice about that is that you don't have to go inside your trailer to turn your water pump on. You can literally do it right from the convenience of this compartment, which is amazing. The other thing is, is that if you find your fresh water tank is getting kind of low in water, uh, you can literally get a five gallon pail of water and run your fresh water line into it, hook it up to your city water connection and turn it to siphon to tank via pump. Uh, using those valves right there and turn on your water pump and it'll backfill your fresh water tank which is super super cool so you got all the coax cable connections for satellite dish uh, 110 plugs all of those things right here in the convenience of this compartment and motion sensor lighting as well motion sensor lighting every everywhere in this trailer which is really really nice so Okay, uh, Grand Design, um, first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty, okay? Um, and how they achieved that was one, they built the product to support the three-year structural warranty. That's very important because we've seen some manufacturers following suit after Grand Design, but almost on the reverse. What they did was they didn't necessarily change the, how they built the product. What they did was raise the price of their trailers to accommodate the influx of warranty claims, okay? Grand Design built the product to support their warranty. So one of the things that they did was they came out with some, uh, a product that was fully laminated, not just partially laminated, fully laminated. And what, what I mean by that is every vertical wall in their trailers are fully laminated. And that's the absolute best way, strongest way to be able to build a product and to ensure that your trailer's built square as well. Every single wall panel, anything that's laminated in a Grand Design product is built in their lamination facility. It's not actually built on the regular assembly line. And so in their lamination facility, they literally build it to strict um, temperature, uh, to, a, to proper temperature controls. It's, they inject uh, humidity into the air for proper curing uh, and just really to ensure that the product that they're producing is just really gonna stand the test of time. And where you can really tell is if you're out shopping, uh, you can do a few things. One, if you look at the rear wall on a lot of trailers, like this is, this is solid, okay? 
in behind this paneling, it's all laminated, it's built in layers, you'll find block foam insulation, you'll find aluminum tubing um, that's fully bead welded. Uh, you'll find that anywhere there's a corner joint or where two walls come together, where there's outside fasteners going into the wall, typically if that fastener is going into an aluminum tube, it's stuffed with a wood dowel to support that steel screw because if you don't uh, support the steel screw in an aluminum tube, what can happen is over time, that steel screw with the flexing and stressing as your trailer's being towed down the highway will create that hole to be opened up a little bit more and your trailer starts to squeak and things come apart and more potential for moisture intrusion and all of those things. So when you're out shopping and you're pushing on the rear wall of some trailers and you feel that it flexes, okay, that typically that's, a, that's what we would call a hung fiberglass wall. So what holds that fiberglass uh, panel on is just the exterior, typically with just screws or staples and then they put the corner moldings on. Uh, or a, and then a window potentially will help seal it, you know, keep it up against the back of the wall. What you typically find for insulation back there is spun uh, fiberglass insulation. And the issue, especially on a rear wall or any vertical wall for that matter, is you can get insulation pack where that insulation shimmies down and it packs down as you're towing it down the highway. And what can happen is at the top of your roof or in various locations, what can happen is that you get gaps in insulation where literally you have no, no insulation barrier between the fiberglass skin and the inner wall panel of the trailer so with grand design every vertical wall panel block foam insulation you don't have to worry about insulation pack it's very very strong the other thing you'll find with grand design with the structure uh, very much on structure is that if you were to pull that window out any window on any grand design trailer produced has framed in window openings okay so on the fiberglass trailers they frame it in with aluminum tubing so that window it's a clamp ring window the screws on the inside don't actually screw into the wall they screw into the outer pane and that window clamps clamps down. Well, if you don't have something solid behind there, some manufacturers just fiberglass and foam. So over time, that window allows for a little more free flow. And that's where you can see wallpaper wrinkling on the inside of your trailer. That's where you can get potential for more moisture intrusion as time goes on, those types of things. Grand Design puts that frame in, uh, just like your house, um, and that window clamps down onto solid, uh, a solid aluminum tube. So much, 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 much stronger, okay? The other thing that they do is their slide end walls fully laminated as well. Okay, so built to exact specifications on a jig for this floor plan uh, so that your trailer's built square. The other thing, Grand Design, you can stand on the tops of their slide outs, they're that strong. Okay, fully laminated, you can stand up there. The beautiful thing with Grand Design, full walk-on roofs. Every single trailer they build has a walk-on roof. So you can climb up that ladder, you can sweep off the top of your slide out, uh, you can change a roof vent if you need, you can do some sealant touch up if necessary. They want you to be able to access your roof, which is very, very important. The other thing, uh, in the laminated side of it. And I know I'm talking a lot about structure, but again, this is the extended tour video. Check out our quick tour uh, if you don't want to go this deep. Uh, these screws right here, there won't be an aluminum tube for those screws to go into, okay? Uh, and so what Grand Design has done to address that in their lamination is that they laminate in a sheet of steel. You know, there'd be like a vertical strip or a sideways strip of steel laminated inside that sidewall. So that steel screw, when it goes in, it goes into steel rather than just fiberglass and foam. So much, much stronger if you're a bigger, heavier, person you want to get up on top of your roof you can do that because the ladder is not going to peel off on you which is really cool so at the back here grand design couple things one they upgraded for 2019 folks they came out they used to have just a bike receiver hitch uh, but now they've gone to an actual hitch that you can tow with so they give you the flat four wiring right there they give you the two inch receiver with the chain eyelets as well so 3,000 pound rating with a 300 pound hitch weight so you know beautiful thing this trailer is only 29 feet 9 inches in length so if you want to be train pull a quad behind pull a fishing boat behind you can get it done with this trailer again make sure you have the right truck to be able to take on that kind of weight um, but again with this trailer and the length and what they're doing to give you to be able to haul behind grand designs doing all the right stuff which is really really nice and we'll shoot up underneath here show you that underbelly they give you the dual uh, um, scissor jacks at the back here 2500 pound rating so make them electric just bring a power drill with you and those will crank down real real nice and give you good stability inside the trailer
okay? Uh, at the back of this uh, product as well, folks, just like on all the grand designs, we kind of par for the course for most manufacturers nowadays. They do give you the pre-wire for the rear vision camera. So we always recommend the observation camera rather than just the backup so that, you know, if you are traveling down the highway, you can watch what's coming up behind you, changing lanes. If you're pulling something behind or you got the bike rack in the receiver, you can keep an eye on those things and that, that rear vision camera works really, really well. So, uh, again, entry side of your trailer, 20 foot power awning. This is the largest power awning that they could possibly put on this trailer uh, based in, you know, where the windows are and those types of things. So 20 foot power awning. And I absolutely love the configuration of how you can set up your campsite because the entry door is further towards the back of the, the awning. You have an unbelievable amount of coverage going forward to be able to set up your patio mat, to be able to set up your camping chairs, pull under a picnic table. Like you could really set up a really nice open, livable outdoor uh, camping space as opposed to having a mid-entry door where it kind of gets broken up and that sort of thing so and by not having any uh, slide outs on this side of the trailer it really you get that full 20 foot of that fabric uh, and that coverage which works really really good now on the uh, reflections and imagines they use the a and e power awning folks so what's nice about that is that you can tilt the roller tube you just simply reach up pull down on the arm tighten a black knob we'll zoom in on that black knob right there see that black knob uh, you pull it down there's a little channel here where it slides in and you can tighten that down and, and put a tilt to your roller tube so if it's raining out a little bit not enough to make you roll up your awning but you want to get that coverage but divert the water off the one end of the awning or the other depending on what way you want to go uh, you can you can do that or if the sun is coming down and you're facing west and you just want to get a little more shade you can do both at the same time to give yourself a little more shade coverage which is really really nice so all right yep arctic insulation package still 260 rd so arctic insulation folks again just like a regular reflection you have an r40 in your roof down your front cap this is a, a uh, r9 in your sidewall on the reflection and then you've got an r30 in your floor the other thing grand design does underneath here underneath right here they also insulate in behind underneath your gooseneck as well that's where some manufacturers folks you can't really tell but that's where some manufacturers won't insulate so again they're not holding back from that build and that structure the r values all of the things that really give you that unbelievable value in a grand design product uh, they're building into this as well which is really really nice okay uh, again, pass-through storage, all the aluminum tubing, super clean, vinyl decking, battery disconnect switch, which is really nice. Motion sensor lighting, 110 plugs. They give you the little porthole access right there to be able to run any extension cords and those types of things up inside. You get the uh, barbecue quick connect as well. So if you wanna hook up a, you know, your barbecue or a portable fire pit or what have you, uh, they give you that ability as well which is nice 30 pound propane tanks on the reflection 150 series also just like the regular reflection so uh, appliances 35,000 BTU furnace on this as well like for a trailer with one slide out 30 feet in length this trailer we did some training yesterday our friends from Grand Design were up some of our reps we had a transcend and an imagine outside 35,000 BTU furnace as well literally within 30 minutes the trailer was toasty warm inside and that's because of 35,000 BTU furnace and up here in Canada there's tons of snow outside and below freezing temperatures so Grand Design's doing the doing all the right things there the hot water heater they put in on the on the product as well as a six gallon Atwood hot water tank gas and electric so you get that 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour on your hot water so you can actually have a decent shower because you have decent capacities as well running gear okay uh, grand design on all of their products uses the dexter towing system so with that you get the dexter axles which gives you a five-year warranty north american made very strong uh, very good less chance of bending those types of things we've seen some issues over the years uh, with other products also never adjust brakes as well as easy lube hubs i love the easy lube hubs there's a little center cap there that you can pull off and you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway. So if you're more of a handy person and you got the time and you don't mind tinkering around and doing those types of things, the Easy Lube Hubs works, works really good. So what you do is you just lift the trailer so the tires are in the air. Um, 
and you have a grease gun, proper grease gun, you pull that cap off and there's a grease nipple and you put that grease gun on the end of that hub. And as you're cycling the new grease in, what it does is it shoots it down a middle cylinder and then at the back, it shoots it back around and it spits the old grease out around the end of the grease gun, but you gotta spin the tire at the same time. There's a really good video on the Dexter uh, uh, website that, that goes through that and it just makes it really good. So you can save a few hundred dollars every couple, you know, three years or so. Um, you know, doing your wheel bearing repack yourself, or if you still don't want to do those types of things, we do all that right at our dealership, which which works really well. Uh, the other thing is you got the um, Dexter suspension system as well, right here in the middle. So that rubber bushing, what that does is it allows a little more free flow within the wheel well. It helps, uh, you know, for going over speed bumps in potholes, those types of things, uh, as well as it helps reduce the amount of vibration going up inside the trailer, just really prolonging the life of, of you know, the, 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 the cabinetry and just the RV itself and creating for a nice smooth ride and very stable as well. So uh, for this year, they also added in the, um, coax cable connections right there 110 plugs so if you want to hook up an exterior television uh, you can do that on this side as well so all right uh, triple entry step with aluminum tread plates got a real nice grip to it folds in really nice it's got that blue light there for at night you can turn that on helps illuminate the steps makes getting in and out of the trailer a whole lot nicer and safer lend a hand grab handle as well that you fold up over top of the door for transport. So it could be the backup that if that door was to pop open, you have that handle folded over, uh, you know, less chance of that door popping open uh, full flight as you're going down the highway. Again, I always recommend to people as before you go out shopping, take a tape measure with you. Measure the widths of the doors, the heights of the doors, those types of things. That's where Grand Design really shines. They're going the extra step, the extra mile. Uh, in a lot of the things that they do. One of the things that is really nice about a wide entry door, and my wife absolutely loves it, is because she uses laundry hampers to bring the food out, the kids' clothes, all of those things. When you have a skinny entry door, you have more chance of busting your knuckles as you're going in and that type of thing. So with this product, Grand Design, they give you that nice wide entry door. Makes entering and exiting the trailer a whole lot nicer, especially if you're carrying items inside and out. So uh, one thing I didn't talk touch on, uh, the speakers on this product, again, like they do on the Imagine and the Reflection products, uh, the speakers mounted to the outside wall of the trailer versus counter sunk into the wall. Uh, what that does is one, you have a little hole for a wire versus a great big hole for a speaker. But also what it does is it uh, keeps the trailer a little quieter inside. You can isolate the speakers on the stereo in this product. So if you just want the outside speakers playing and not inside, you can isolate that. But uh, just makes it for a nice, makes it a little quieter inside the trailer versus if you counter sink a speaker into the wall uh, what can happen is when that speaker is playing it makes it noisier inside the trailer so but you get the cool blue lights and that uh, nice led strip light at the base of the fabric as well for your patio light so uh, we're going to jump inside the trailer and touch on a whole bunch of things Sh starting here at the back folks uh, again, what they've done, rear dinette. This trailer is eight feet wide, so you can imagine that how big that dinette is. Like you can sit a family of four uh, or more very comfortable around this dinette, as well as you got that nice wide table as well, so you can sit a couple people on the outside. So great big windows all the way around. It does make into a bed, which is really nice. You get excellent storage up underneath. Uh, like if you're six foot five, you can lay on this bed very comfortably uh, if you have guests and that sort of thing. So uh, really nice setup. Well, what I like about the floor plan, folks, is that um, from a travel perspective, if you want to come in and make a sandwich, grab something from your fridge, all of those sorts of things, and you have the slide out fully retracted, the slide out comes right up to the edge of your kitchen sink here. And what that gives you is you can access, you know, your kitchen all the way along here. You can access your fridge. What? Four door fridge, 12 cubic foot. You get it in this one. Um, you know, you can sit your family down, you can have a meal if you're heading from here to Kelowna and you wanna sit down and have a snack, those types of things, sit down on your nice tri-theater seating here. You can do that uh, in this particular product, which is absolutely fantastic. So um, one of the things, again, Grand Design does, DNA item from the floor up, no heat ducts in the floor. They did that, have done that since their inception. Um, why they do that, a couple things. One, when you sweep out the trailer, uh, they don't want the dirt and debris, the dog hair, the 
you know, the popcorn, that type of stuff going down into your heat ducts. But also from a structure perspective, some manufacturers, when you see that heat, those heat ducts in the floor, they're literally cutting into your floor for that heat to travel. Okay, so you're giving up some structure. With Grand Design in the 150 series, this is a one piece floor. There are no seams on it. Um, they use plywood in the floor. It seems staggered. It's double stacked, but it's a laminated floor. So it's very, very, very strong. Okay, um, but with that, they don't do the heat ducts in the floor. So much, much stronger. They give you that big, great big furnace, but they port the heat ducts through the cabinetry so that that heat blows out across the floor, which is really, really nice, okay? Um, heat ducts on the floor, they put plastic covers on them. They break all the time. If you're sweeping out the inside, they fill up with dirt, all of those things. So Grand Design, from their inception, um, no heat ducts in the floor. And when you see heat ducts in the floor, that's typically an indication or can be an indication of how they heat the tanks. When you have that track going down the middle of your floor, they say winterization or heated tanks, but typically what can heat those tanks is just radiant heat off of that heat plenum. Okay, with Grand Design, they actually force heat down into that holding tank cavity to really heat up those tanks. You're getting that forced air going down there, which is really, really nice. Okay. Um, the other thing, cabinetry galore, tons of counter space in this layout. Um, one of the things, they use the Surf X countertops in this. This is a one-piece countertop. It's a sealed countertop. You'll see some manufacturers, folks, still using a laminate with a T or rubber uh, edging on the end of it, which shrinks over time. Grand design, you don't have to worry about with this product. Um, again, they don't do the solid surface like a Corian or an LG countertop, that type of thing. They do that purely to get the weight down. This is the same style of countertop that they use in the bathroom of a Solitude. It's the same style of cabinetry they use in an Imagine those types of things so it helps get the weight down more than anything but again it's the best material versus that um, that solid surface countertop that you see in the regular reflections it's super shiny and heavy so uh, they're doing that um, the other thing great big ovens on this oversized ovens they've gone to the furion style has a really nice residential cooktop on it with the glass folding lid which folds down nice and flat just expanding your counter space as well uh, and then you got the great big oven down below with lighting inside. So the blue lights really help accent things. And Furion's done just a phenomenal job challenging the, the RV appliance manufacturers to really come out with new and edgier designs. So it'll be interesting to see how everybody tries to catch up with Dometic and all those other guys uh, that uh, Furion's kind of taken some business from over the last the last year or so. So uh, again, the way they've configured this, tons of counter space. You still get the farm style sink in this floor plan, folks. So great big, great big stainless steel sink. If you like the idea of not having as much water used up or you just like that dunk basin just a rubbermaid container works absolutely fantastic uh, to go in there but the other nice thing i didn't touch on is that it's an under counter mount sink so it's below the counter so if you spill something here you can literally just wipe it into the the sink some manufacturers are placing that that sink right on top of the counter so you get that edge of that sink that you know fills up with gum and not gum is there silicone there but you know you get the crumbs and those types of things uh, digging into the edge of the sink and that sort of thing so much much easier much more flexible flexibility with this sink pull down faucet as well so they do give you the uh, countertop extension folks so one thing I'll point out depending on what floor plan you're looking at if you see a kitchen island or those types of things we can get the countertop extensions right from Grand Design so if you want to add more counter space to other floor plans that maybe you see where you like to have a little more counter space uh, we can get it Grand Design does the folding uh, flip up counter extensions in the Surf X material like you see here but they also do it in the solid surface like on the regular reflections uh, you, you get that solid surface flip up so we can add those in if you if you so choose so just a little tip there for you okay um, you got the theater seating on this. It's got the blue lighting. Uh, it's directly across from your entertainment center, which is right up here with the LED TV. That TV is on a pivot. It does pull away. It's on an arm. Uh, it does come with the DVD player with the uh, Bluetooth capability. Uh, but this is an unbelievable seat. Okay, you can lay down on this couch. It's got heat. It's got massage. Super, super comfy. I love the flip down armrest. It flips out. You got the cup holders in the middle there. So just an unbelievable, super comfortable uh, theater seat that they place in this. 12 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. It's the only 150 series folks that they offer this in. I think this, this feature alone is gonna sell this trailer folks. This, the, the way that they've expanded and lengthened this trailer, it's a little bit, it's about foot and a half longer than a 230 RL. It's a few hundred pounds heavier on the dry weight. The hitch weight's a little bit heavier. So, but the cool thing about this is if you wanna do some traveling, you get the 
12 cubic foot refrigerator, which is unbelievable, okay? Typically to get a 12 cubic foot refrigerator, you have to go up to the regular reflection to get it because the SL, SLE series, you don't get it. In the 150 series, in this layout, you do, which is really, really nice. So tons and tons of uh, fridge capability with this trailer. So they even put the little blockers here. So in transport, less chance of things sliding off your shelves when you open up the, open up the doors. And then you'd also still get the pantry as well. So super cool storage. So I'm super excited to start showing this layout to, to, to customers coming into our dealership. So uh, one of the things Grand Design on all of their fifth wheels, folks, they do do the max air fan in the living area on all of their products, 150 series all the way up uh, in their fifth wheels. What's nice about that is that it comes with a rain sensor, folks, has the wall, th uh, wall uh, remote here as well. So just little things that Grand Design does to go the extra step that you might not see in another product or even more expensive product in another competitor. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are pulling those fans out the other thing the theater seating you may not see heat massage in the blue light you may just have the theater seat grand designs go on the extra step the extra mile okay tons of plugins you know you got a plug-in right here underneath your dinette i encourage you if you're checking out the products go around count the amount of plugins that you see in products grand design puts tons of plugins uh, in their rvs as well which is really really nice Okay, uh, we're going to jump up. So no carpet on the steps where you step, of course. Uh, they've done that since their inception on, the, on all of their products, which is really nice. You want to access the bathroom. The one thing with this layout, I will we'll throw it out there, folks. When the slide out is fully retracted, you cannot access the bathroom unless you open it up. You don't have to go all the way out if you need to access the bathroom, but one of the things to get the length down, they had to go to the entry, the entry up to the upper deck on this side, just like a 230 RL. They typically have to do that to get the length down um, and still give you that nice open living area. But that's the one thing that you do have to bump the slide out to access the upper deck in your bathroom. So just be aware of that, okay? Uh, coming upstairs here, a couple things. One, DNA item for grand design folks not a big fan of uh, uh, swing doors especially where a staircase is involved so grand design they do put the pocket door here uh, on this product which is really nice it's much much safer and why i say that is because if you're getting out of bed in the middle of the night and you want to access the bathroom if you have a swing door the swing door is always open this way okay they swing open to the to the main floor okay well if you see where your stairs are and if that door is swinging typically where you have to go at night is down your stairs open your door and then walk into your bathroom okay exiting the bathroom the same way you got to do it in reverse having a pocket door here just makes getting in and out of the bathroom much much safer the other thing at night you can set the light to motion sense so that if you want to come into the bathroom the light automatically turns on you're not having to fumble around for switches or if let's say you got the grandkids with you and your granddaughter comes in and she can't find the switch, you know, kids at, at home, I know my daughters and, and son, when they use the bathroom in the middle of the night, typically the bathroom light is on in the morning. Uh, so having that motion sensor light, that light automatically turns off. They don't have to worry about uh, flipping the switch off, which is really, really nice. So you get the full storage above with shelves inside. <clears throat> Nautilus P1 shower curtain. I love it because with this shower surround, you actually have very low transition point and tons of headroom in the shower. So if you're six foot four, six foot five, you got lots of headroom, especially with that uh, great big skylight as well for your head to go up inside there um, but no plastic curtain it's on a track in a frame uh, when that curtain retracts what happens is the moisture that's on the back side of it squeegees off and it runs back down into the shower pan which is really nice mold and mildew resistant all of those things but getting in and out of the shower is super nice and you got tons and tons of elbow room there uh, your sink stainless steel sink with lots of counter space you get the three drawers the cabinet and then the overhead vanity as well so beautiful, beautiful bathroom for a, a shorter fifth wheel that's half ton towable, okay? Uh, coming up into the uh, bedroom here, folks. Again, very consistent, okay? Before we jump into the bedroom, I just wanna show you, see this wall section right here, okay? What cuts into here is gonna be your closet from your bedroom. So I just wanted to point that out to you. So when we come up in here, that's one of the things on the 150 series, you will not find wardrobe slides or slides up top because they wanna keep that hitch weight 1400 pounds or less, which is absolutely fantastic. Typically, if you eliminate a wardrobe slide from your bedroom to get the hitch weight down, you lose storage. 
not with a grand design in the 150 series folks what they've done is you still get the beautiful nightstands on either side of your bed so what i like about that is that you know you don't have a cabinet right in your face a lot of manufacturers to give you cabinet storage they run a cabinet all the way up and down on either side and then your bed is in a tunnel and then literally if you're sleeping you've got you know two three inches from the end of your nose you've got a wall okay if you're a bit claustrophobic don't necessarily like tighter places or you just like to sleep with your arm hanging off the side of the bed with a grand design fifth wheel you can do that in the reflection which is really really nice but you still get the hanging wardrobe storage with that uh, section in the bathroom but storage all the way up above storage underneath that pad right there folks that fills in the tabletop when you go to fill, uh, fold that dinette down into a bed just so you know um, 60 wide by 80 long residential queen size bed so if you don't like the mattress you can go to any mattress shop you can place that new bed in there and it's going to fit the same dimensions without taking up too much space or any space same dimensions uh, great big window to help open up the interior livability of the of the front of the fifth wheel but this is where i absolutely love it um, they've done just such a phenomenal job with the storage by eliminating that wardrobe slide but still giving you that great big wardrobe storage here there's a motion sensor light in there as well and then you get the three drawers. So and these drawers here are fantastic. They're super deep. Okay. So. USB charging station here right up front as well. Behind that there's a, a dual USB plug. So you get the, they give you that shelf there. So you can his and her um, cell phone charging that you can do at night. That type of thing the uh, vent up here in your bedroom it's all wired so if you want to run put another max fan up here with a lid on it or if you want to add a secondary air conditioner all the wiring is there it's very simple to do we can do that right in house at our dealership we've done it lots so see where it says tv backer location here they do that you go okay right on the wall in the there's a section here laminated in the wall grand design style with a sheet of steel there so when they put that mount on there it goes on solid okay they put all the wiring up top so anyway that's a lot you've heard me talk we're on 45 minutes here on this new brand new to our dealership grand design reflection 150 series 260 rd this is the extended tour video folks i hope you enjoyed it i hope i didn't bore you too much with all of the the nitty gritty details on it but uh, love for you to come down to our dealership our goal here at our store is to come alongside you uh, if we don't have what you're looking for we wouldn't expect you to buy but uh, we're just so blessed to be able to carry a value-based value-built product like grand design supported by a phenomenal uh, company and uh, retailed and supported by by us as our dealership here we're a top 50 dealer have been year after year after year blue ribbon dealer a couple years ago uh, for a company here in alberta we got dealerships all through the province i'm here in leduc at our little boutique dealership selling grand design shooting these videos trying to educate you and just showing you what the uh, the products are all about and those types of things so if you want to come down to our dealership give us a shot we love to be able to entertain you and and uh, come alongside you and just show you what buying an rv at woody's rv world leduc is all about check out the reviews on the products on the dealerships and uh you know just do your do your shopping and your education and all those things so uh, again clayton phillips woody's rv world leduc alberta canada our phone number is 780-986-1234 and our address is 8012 sparrow crescent leduc alberta thanks for your time happy camping